Greetings friends and fellow cigar box guitar enthusiasts. Dale Puckett here and this is going to be a very informative uh, and awesome video. Um, educational, uh, rewarding, um, entertaining. Did I already say entertaining? Uh, so I'm, let me, let me uh, say I'm going to divide this video into four parts. The first part is I'm going to introduce you to the guitar I'm building on right now. The second part I want to show you some of these shirts I've been working on. The third part is I have a surprise for you, courtesy of Ben at cbgiddy.com. And then number four, I'll do the sound sample of the guitar that we're working on now. So stick around for this video. So I started off with this round piece of copper that I just found on the highway. And um, perfectly round. This is the side that had the roadkill side. I should have put maybe that side out, but it's concave bending this way, so I wanted to use the round side to go down. Plus, this side's shiny. And I got one of these queen queen bee boxes and just cut it out. And then I put these little screw hold these screws to kind of hold it in place. It's all it's just to hold it in place. That's all. And then the neck is going to be a neck through. But because these queen bee bodies are so thin, I mean seriously, these things are. Um, Less than an inch. They're about three quarters of an inch. Gosh, is that right? That can't be right. Um, let me get a let me get a better ruler here. Okay, so it is uh, exactly one inch. Exactly one inch. Cat wants to say hi. Say hi, cat. Hi, cat. Meow. You guys want to come say hi too? All right. Mojo wants to come say hi. Come here, Mojo. Come here, buddy. Let's say hi to these cats. Hi guys, peace. What about the other little dog? Come here, little dog. Come here. Come here. Come here. Monet. Hey. We should have called him Chewbacca. Okay, because this thing is so thin, it's hard to put a, a heel in there. So I got to thinking, how on earth am I going to do this? So that was the challenge, and that's. One of the things that I wanted to communicate in this video is this kind of an, uh, not an alternative construction method, but something definitely that um, I'm experimenting with on this build right here. Because it's so thin here, I use an entire piece. Now this is just your regular neck wood that you get at the big box stores. And if you notice here, I put, well, here's a spacer here. I'll, more more about this here in a minute. But I actually put two fretboards. I don't know if you can see in there. Two fretboards glued on top. And that's just to give me my, my girth here, right? I wanted it to be the same thickness. Um, it's actually a little bit thicker, but oh, I'm talking about up here, you know, where the heel is. I want the, I want the strength and the thickness here at the heel. So, yeah, I could, I could technically um, carve this out a little bit better, but... Um, I like the feel, man. It definitely de definitely gives you something to grab on here. It makes it feel substantial here to have it extra thick. So I got two fretboards there. And of course, the fretboard that's on the top is the one that's got the frets. And then uh, I did stain it with the, uh, this is called gun stock. And sanded, of course, you know, put the frets in, dress the frets, sanded everything, um, steel wooled everything. It's just, it's ready to go. I did put these copper nails on the top here. I don't know if you can get a good, good light on that thing, but uh, definitely have some copper nails on the top. And then when I went over with the sandpaper, it kind of filed off some of the copper and exposed some of that. Um, the, so it's like a little bit of a two-tone colored, colored nail there. Of course, the solder burns here on the top. So next I'm going to install the tuners. And then put it together. Now, um, I do have a spacer back here. And this spacer on the front here. So what that does is it gives me a little bit of a back angle. Look at that. So I have essentially created a back angle. And this spacer here is just to keep the top of the box connected through and through. If I can... I had an extra hand. I don't know if that makes sense, but this right here is going to sit 
right on there perfectly. And so that little guy is going to be the support underneath there. So anyhow, that's the idea anyway. So I'm going to put it together. Yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. Yeah, it's nice and snug. And the fretboard still comes over the top here. Not as much as I uh, would have hoped, but I got two fretboards on there. So it'll, it's coming, going to come up a little bit, but... Um, yeah, I wish it would have came up a little bit more, but I mean, that's the price you pay right there. I mean, I could start taking off this wood underneath here, right, and get it to raise up or there. I mean, there's really nothing I can do. Another, put another fretboard on here on the top, and then I just, you know, I don't know, it'd be kind of strange. So, so it's a little bit challenging working with these tiny, thin, thin boxes, but I'm not, it actually, <laughs> look at that, it actually looks, looks cool. I mean, yeah, it definitely, definitely looks cool. So let's let's put it together and see what it sounds like. Okay, we got the strings on. We got the 44 tuned to E, the 34 tuned to B, and the 26 tuned to E. And I'm just kind of playing around with this bolt here. I just put it kind of in the where the uh, dead center in here. I did do a string down right here just to kind of get some downward pressure on that bolt so the strings wouldn't be sloppy on the backside. <laughs> I still need to put some screws on the corners here just to kind of get rid of this little
Okay, so the second part of this video is the t-shirts. So I have a limited supply of these. I have them in black, in gray, I have them in white. The white has got brown, brown letters, it's kind of cool. And then also in tan, and the tan has also got Got the brown letters. So I have them all the way up to 4X and all the way down to medium. I think I might have just a few smalls. So here's the deal. So uh, um, I'll sell these for, I'm gonna say 30 bucks a piece. I know that might be a little bit expensive, but that'll include the postage. And uh, man, the last time I shipped these things, they got me for the postage. I was like, dang, seriously? Sheesh. All right, so 30 bucks. And all you gotta do is just email me and then um, we'll coordinate it or whatever. You can use the PayPal or whatever. Um, I'm going to have to limit this to the uh, the United States of America. The only reason being is because, dude, if I sell this internationally, dude, I got customs. It's going to cost me more in postage. It's not going to be worth it. So sorry, guys, if you're international. I, I love you, man. I really do. Um, there are there are, actually, to be honest with you, um, they're in the video description or actually below the video description. In between the video and the video description, there should be a little banner of, of t-shirts from Teespring. Um, you can get t-shirts probably cheaper there than you could if you tried to order one of mine um, and then pay the shipping. So yeah, so four colors. We got black, white, tan, and gray. And colors go all the way up to 4X, all the way down to uh, medium. Just, I think I might have a few smalls. I'm not sure exactly. Um, I can look into it if, I, if you need me to. Um, but like I said, once they're gone, they're gone. Um, email is the best way to get a hold of me. And then obviously PayPal or whatever, that's probably the best way to, to pay for it. So um, if you're interested in that, email me and then we'll talk back and forth and I'll set you up. The third part of this video I wanted to show you was this. Ah. Now I know what this is. If you look on the back post, on the back wall right there, you see that poster right there that I'm pointing to, square little white thing right there. That is the Essential Cigar Box Guitar Chords for the key of G. Um, you know, when you tune G, D, G. Well, you guys know I like to tune E, B, E. So I got a hold of Ben at cbgiddy.com. And it says, Ben, what would it take to create a poster for the E, B, E tuning? And he, he says, well, let me look into it. I, I'll, I'll check my, uh, my files and see if I have it. And I can edit it and stuff like that. Well, lo and behold, dude, he pulled it off, man. And um, he emailed me and said that, that um, let me check it out. So anyhow, I am opening this now, right now. And I'm hoping and assuming, yeah, yeah I can tell right, I can tell right off the bat, dude, look at that, E7. Oh, dude, I'm so happy, dude, seriously. Seriously. It's not like I don't know these chords, and of course I know these chords. But it's just so nice to have in poster form, not just for me, but for people out there, for you guys. Guys, seriously, if you like to tune your guitar E, B, E, and you want, you want to get your hand on one of these posters, go to cbgiddy.com and get one of these things here. And like I say always, you can use my affiliate link and for a short time, you can use my promo code and get an additional 10% off. Um, it even tells you how to use the poster on the back. So it, it gives you all of the, the fingerings and the diagrams. And So guys, a huge shout out to, to Ben Baker, Ben Giddy Baker over at cbgiddy.com. Those guys are stand up, dude. Seriously, I, I, I appreciate being an affiliate link with them. I appreciate all their... Your customer service, dude, is is by far it's it's ten out of ten. It, that's been my experience, and I've worked with these guys since I've been building cigar box guitars, and that's been since 2014. Hello. So, go to CB Giddy, 
Get yourself one of these EBE posters and tell them. Tell them. Del Puckett sent me. All right, guys. Let's move on to part number four of this video. And that is the uh, the throwdown. What do they call it? A uh, the hoot nanny. So last night I took the strings off and took all the screws out of the top, pulled the top off and I put some blocks underneath here, 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 and here. I just wanted to secure the top to the box because this was so thin right here that there was nothing to keep this, this thing here from, from bending sideways and stuff like that. So I wanted to strengthen this whole thing. And you could actually hear it, uh, the piezo was picking it up whenever you could like, hold the neck here and hold it here and I could squeeze it back, or not squeeze it, but I don't wanna say bend it, but kind of just give it a wiggle. And it was making some internal popping sounds. So I wanted to, re to, re to remove that, strengthen it. And now that, I, now that I did that, actually the sound is a lot more louder. I know you can't tell, but I can tell. And I also went and opted for a sound hole here. And why did I do that? I don't have any reason. There's no reason to put that sound hole in there. I mean, it's perfectly loud um, and blinding, perfectly loud the way it was, but I just liked, um, to, I can actually hear it if I put up to my ear. Yeah, it's, it's actually so loud. It's like I had to pull my, my ear away. Yeah, yeah it actually, actually it is loud. There go the dogs. They're crazy. All right, so anyhow, um, yeah, so I'm unplugged. Unplugged. And I just wanted to hear, I wanted you guys to hear this. <laughs> Dude, come on, man. Did mess with the intonation and got it intonated all the way up the neck, all the way to the top. So I have a long, oh yeah, I also rerouted these strings here to come up out of the hinge on the bottom. So they come up, that way they could go down here so that I could get up here so that it would have a nice downward pressure here. So it's like a um, through the hole, up and over, under, up and over here. Again, I wanted the downward pressure here. And the only way to do that was to put this guy here and so if I put a thicker nail here, maybe, I can maybe get a little bit more downward pressure, but it's, it's certainly sufficient. And I'm attacking it pretty good and I'm not knocking the strings off. Of course, those, there are threads on there, on the screw that is a, a, a bolt, I don't know what you call it, just threaded, all thread. I know you can't really see it in this light here, but there are threads on that. And that is what's holding the strings in place. So there's no movement here, which is my main goal. But the colors, guys, come on, man. These colors are freaking awesome. They match the, the tuner tops and the nail heads on the top. Um, so when you pick up this guitar, right off the bat, you want to go.
guys, I'm so happy. I am so happy the way this turned out. It is a little rough, I'll admit. Um, these screws here, there's no finishing washers, just screws that have been recessed. I left the, the glue from when I peeled this guy off here on this side here. I left the glue on there, so the glue is still on there. You can see, oh, there you go. You can see that really good there. It's not sticky, but it's there. And why did I leave that? Because, guys, you got to be authentic, man. You got to be legit. You got to leave the glue on. You got to, the paper's peeled um, here, but not here. So, again, the, the goal is imperfection. There's some, there's some pock marks here. And again, that's from when it was getting ran over. When it was on the street, laying on the street, getting ran over, obviously there was a, a rock or something underneath it and poked that up there. So um, this is a legitimate, a legitimate cigar box built with legitimate, oh yeah, the nails here was left over from a pallet or it was a, and so I, I did take the, the bottom off, but you can see, I don't know if you can see it in this light, but there's swirls in there on both sides here. Um, yeah, I mean, there's lots to tell, lots to tell, but it's in the playing, guys. It's in the playing. Take it back down to the workshop and I'll plug it back, plug it back into the amplifiers, turn it up and tear it up. Can you hear the little cricket? These are the settings on the amp. No effects, no reverb, no nothing, just a middle sound with middle tone middle gain, middle volume, everything's in the middle. And I'm plugged directly into, so there's no effects, no nothing. And I'm tuned G, D, G. So I want to do two things. I want to, I want to kill two birds with one stone here. So you guys are familiar with this lick? for your turn turn around like you see when I stomp my foot watch what happens hmm. okay don't stomp your foot sorry guys so if we know that the top string and the bottom string both are tuned to the same instead of going you can go Or you can go, um, or either way. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use those licks right there in my blues. Um, so here we go.
cool little trick. <laughs> see the black finger and you can already see the uh, the uh, frets like right in here it's starting to get a little dirty so that's what I like to do man I like to get it to look like it's used <laughs> okay. so I forgot to show you the white shirt here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and put on the white shirt so that I can have all the shirts the black the tan, the gray, and the white in the video. So hold on, don't go anywhere. And just like that, I'm wearing a white shirt. Trick photography, folks. One more little blues trick and then I'll let you go here. So you guys see me grab this cord right here. This is the index here at the 10th and I use my ring finger here, middle string 12th. The top string open. That is a dom what they call a dominant seven chord. What I like to do is I just like to move this guy down one fret at a time. chord right here this is another dominant seven chord and here's this this little figure on the bottom here shape again. Here we go, here we go. That little cricket's just, just going to town, just going to town. All right, guys, if you guys want to get one of these shirts, be sure to email me. Um, if you want to get one of those posters for the essential cigar box guitar chords right there, go to cbgiddy.com and be sure to use my affiliate link and my discount code located below. Guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me. And we will see you guys in the next video. Be sure to like and share and subscribe and comment and um, hit that notification bell. All right, guys, we'll see you. Bye.